I'm Chantelle Johnson and welcome to my studio. As a member of the 2015 Ice Resin Design Team, I want to share with you a holiday inspired project today featuring a couple of fun techniques. Let's take a look at the project. I've created a necklace using one of our bezels, but I wanted to create a, a stamped sentiment inside that didn't take away. And it's a favorite stamp of mine that says, if, snowball were ki if snowballs were kisses, I'd send them all your way. And our technique is going to show you how to get this stamped image kind of floating along with some very unique snowballs inside. Let's get started. To prepare the bezel for today's video, I've already done my first step, which is to use iced enamels relic powder in the ivory and the silver to create this beautifully brightened bezel, giving us the idea of snow and winter. And what you do is you take your iced enamels medium, you brush the inside and the edges, sprinkle the powder the color of your choice, heat with the heating gun until it's melted. Once that's cool, turn the bezel over and do the exact same thing, iced medium, the powders, and heat. And now we're ready for step two. So what we're gonna use today to create our snowballs, believe it or not, are sugar pearl sprinkles that you would actually put on cupcakes or cakes, cookies, especially at the holiday time. With ice resin, you can use spices to color the resin. You can use candy and sprinkles and things like that inside your bezel. So this is what we're gonna do. We have some ice resin already mixed and we're going to put just a little bit, just a little in the corners where we want some snowballs. And I'm just doing this, so this almost acts as an adhesive when I get ready to put the little snowballs inside. They won't go everywhere. So I'm gonna use just a little spoon and of course I have way more in here than what we need. And I'm gonna put a little bit in the corners and let some roll out and that's all right. And then with my little stirrer stick, I'm actually going to put these where I want them. So if I want them, I don't really want any up there. That's where I'd like them to be. So we'll get rid of all these that spilled. And now we're very, very carefully going to just put another layer of resin in the bottom and we're gonna spread it with our stick to get an even coating. Because what we're going to do now is we are going to put our little stamp sentiment. I am using a little bit of a different shaped bezel than one in our project to show you that you can use anything um, that you'd like or that you happen to have. So I have a little bit of resin everywhere. And now what I'd like to do is I'm gonna take my little stamp sentiment, which is called Let It Snow, it just says Let It Snow, and I've stamped it on white tissue paper. And when I lay this tissue paper in the bezel, when I begin to put the resin both underneath and on, it will, the white will disappear, and we will see our little snowball. And we're going to get that in there. And there our snowballs, snowballs are coming to the surface. We're seeing those. And then we're going to continue to fill our bezel until we get to the edge. And that is the magic behind letting your stamp sentiment look like it's floating and your little snowballs are still seen. And if we wanted to, we could add a couple more to the top. And we'll let that dry eight to, tw uh, eight to 10 hours. We'll let it dry overnight and those little snowballs will be seen. Let's take a look at our finished project. Once your bezel has dried the eight to 10 hours, there's another little feature that you can do for this necklace. Let me show you the back of the necklace. Sometimes we forget about the back. And as it flips over, I've iced enameled the back and then I took another tissue paper stamp sentiment put a layer of ice resin, laid the tissue, and then covered it again with ice resin. When our let it snow dries, I'll go ahead and do the same thing and put glad tidings on the back. It's a way to actually get two necklaces in one. And something fun that you can do if you'd like to make a little mound of snowballs, on a craft mat or on a trash bag, lay a little bit of resin and then start to pour some of the snowballs. And then you can keep adding resin and snowballs and you'll have a little mound of snowballs to perhaps set in a little winter scene. Thank you for joining me today. For more inspiration and other ideas on how to use ice resin, please check out my blog, chantelljohnson.blogspot.com and the ice resin blog. Have a great day.